the number right, one Mordex see. in the world, at least in ranked. What's up, guys? <laughs> the Marky Moo, number one upcoming player right now. And the recovery's rip. The last one to come through, that's that it. Oh Marky Moo beats Yuz in the grand final reset and is your wow. Autumn Royale 2024 champion. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Koslix, and this is your Dodo Subrahala. Marky Moo teaches Munir some gauntlet action. Moo, nothing too major just yet. Down into orange at this point. Munir playing carefully, but we all know that Marky Moo, as soon as he gets oh, those dodges, what? he's gonna go all in! 25 seconds! Back up, Munir gets that there. Barely a knockout at this point. He needs that quite quickly if he doesn't want Marky Moo to just run that way with a massive lead. The side left will disarm him. Things starting off good for him already as he gets the gravity cancel down heavy. The side air off the weapon pick up that Moo's finding hits. It's a spot dodge. Now Marky Moo able to pick up a set of weapons. Here comes out. Oh, that tear is gonna catch. And that's it. Dude up. He just needs to find the stock now. I think Moon is gonna be able to do a lot. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's oh. it. You already know when you see that attack. One more. There it is. I take a massive beating. You got massive end lag on those attacks, whereas Mooner can be a little bit more all over the place now. Either way, whatever it is, he changed uh, more than just the legend. It's been working, and we'll see if it's going to work enough to the very end. Uh -oh. We're going to game five, and Marky Moo uh -oh. already picks up the read. He goes for something bigger. Uh oh, he has a touch. Yeah, okay. Moo's finding hits. It's a spot dodge. Now Marky Moo able to pick up a set of weapons. Here comes out. Oh. That tear is going to catch. And that's it. Dude. Now that's a way to start a match. Here on Worlds and very small stage, we've seen plenty of Marky Moo knockouts that involve the side light, double side light read with the gravity cancel and the recovery to take him off the top in light orange. And already Marky Moo starting off quite strong with the gauntlets here as Yuz is trying to get some space so that he can start getting those great sword side lights that we like to see him open up in neutral games so often. But Marky Moo right there to be able to punish every time Yuz wins. He's crossing up and he is landing on top of him. He has not allowed Yuz to connect a single one of those side lights. Looking for the jump call out. He gets a side light, but no follow up quite yet. Yuz setting up a juggle. Marky Moo fighting his way back down, able to get the lead and able to take out the first stock. And then let's see if Yuz is able to equalize things here with his edge guard. Sider puts him on the stage. Goes for delay. Neutral Sig instead of delay. Sarah, and with that dodge gone, Marky Moo can take full punish with that end uh, neutral light into Nair. A ladder combo onto the scythe. Ends up not getting that recovery, but that neutral light into weapon throw, switch right over to the gauntlets. And he's already got Yuz in a position where a silent recovery could knock him out. Okay, Marky Moo looking to get that neutral light. Once again, punishing that end Sig. Yuz not finding his opponent. GC D-Light not able to combo, but the recovery coming out once again. Marky Moo with so much momentum. Not contest him off stage. He gets Damn. the side light finisher. Okay, Marky Moo not able to get the neutral. He's looking for a way to land. Use does not cover the right direction with side light. GC side light recovery. Oh, not enough to KO Air off the side light again. Looks for the side light, goes the other way. Use hugging the left side of the wall. Marky Moo. <gasps> he misses the side light. But uh, he goes for that weapon throw, holds on to it. Stuff recovery. The gauntlets in Marky Moo's hands. Oh, the get knocked out of his hands, and then the weapon throw covers the dive kick. Waits for a weapon spawn, could go for D-Light Grandpa, the weapon spawn's not safe. in his favor. Oh. D-Light recovery, but he gravity catches oh D-Light. God! So Yuz covers the weapon with Sword D-Light. Marky Moo goes. Yuz does not lose without putting up a fight. Going over to center stage, goes for that side light. End light in place, doesn't really hit it. Weapon throw forward. Not gonna be able to catch anything after that. And the end light finisher from Yuz with the weapon throw goes for the oh. neutral thing on the sword. Another neutral thing. I can't believe the end did KO hits. off the top. Yeah, wow. that was, uh, I mean, yeah, I actually am pretty surprised too. Marky Moo was doing like eight. Single bit of damage away from that work for the sake. No you punish on that light. one. Side light opener used just sticking to his game plans, which is right over to the sword and lights him off the side of the stage. Waits nice on the spot wait. dodge. Could go for side air here to the ground pound, goes for the recovery for the extra damage, which is over the great sword. That's side it. light and light finisher. Yes. Be a two no position to be able to whiff punish is Marky Moon. Okay. Side light. Oh, side oh light my finisher. Gosh. Goes for the recovery. Reposition for the Sair. No, he drifts too far back for the side air. Marky Moon manages to take it back. Side light, D light bridge. He's been getting so much mileage off of that attack in neutral, waiting for the dodge coming through, gets a side light, goes in for that dash forward. Wow. Neutral light, the side light, finish. Avoiding the side light and getting a couple of hits in. Neutral light, GC side light, recovery, but still not enough. Yeah, it doesn't get the knockout. It was a great read there. Gets it down, six, wow. stacks, nine. Triple recovery? What was he thinking? So hard. They switched over to a different legend pick than the Mordex that he had so much success with this weekend. Pockets had come through. Excellent, Low because damage. he was out of space. He had no way to dash back. He had no way to be able to avoid that no, amazing no, advantage no. state. End light as a get off me option. GC D light to get back onto the stage as a burst yeah. option. The bow to be able to go ahead and manipulate his movement. The GC side light doesn't come out. He's sweating. The D sig. He gets a game with. Use off yes. the gauntlets. And so Marky Moo is now relying on Devil Jin's unique uh, signature kit here with the down sig. Uh, but we have to 
see if that comes here to play in this game. Puts out the bow down stick there. Gravity caps a delight means he has no dodge, but use doesn't get a punish onto it, and Marky Moo is a little bit falling. He's been using it too many times. That's gonna be the call out with the GC delight into the end sig as well. I was about to point it out. He used it so many times to try and get back on the delight into playing amazing. Yeah, and this is a very hard lead to come back from. Marky Moo was keeping it close for the majority of game three. Use now here on the great sword. If he finds one more sidelight opener, he'll get that delight bridge. So difficult to get a follow up off of sidelight, but it's like angle. Okay, it puts him off stage and he again. gets it again. And I think that's going to be more than enough to be able to KO. Yuz was dominating this match. The beautiful stuff, the N6 so safe. Yuz tries to cover the landing. That time he was successful. Recovery, neutral. He wants to be able to take this all the way. And Maliki Mu, I cannot believe the weapon toss didn't connect. Can he it. make it back onto the stage? And the answer is yes for just a second, but not for long enough. As it doesn't get the read with the Nair, however, and Yuz is over onto the sword. I'm sure he'll be throwing that away after one clean hit so they can go back over to the great sword, which he's been dominating with all throughout the day. That's right, Malkimu, he needs to be ready to adapt to those two pieces. But right now, he is off stage and Yu is able to just space out that delight, but unfortunately, no follow up. Delight recovery off the top of the stage, though. Goes for the Nair. Malkimu does not go down from the knockback. Not strong enough to be able to get the early stock. It does happen once in a blue moon. It's by Sidelight Nair. Sare, weapon throw here can force the dodge. Gets the Nair, that's going to be it for Yu's first stock. Beautiful. Finish with a uh, sword. Neutral Sig tries to go for a jump read, but Malkimu just dashes right past it. And that is a huge combo. Five hits coming through. Nair after the cider. Gets another Nair into the recovery. Use can't make it back to the stage. Marky Moo goes to the side of the, the stage with a down air. He's out Edge there. guard from the weapon Recovery throw. Gone. Goes to the G-like ground light. pound. Doesn't hit it. And the site. He set it up for later. He's able to get the ground pound. That's he tries awesome. to use the GC and sync to make it back on. And gets he it gets back. it successfully. Okay, so the gravity cancel uh, neutral signature gives him the enough time for the dodge to come back up for Use to make it back. But Marky Moo is one solid hit away from taking this game three and bringing it to match points. Weapon throw forward. Goes for the... Could have gone for anything there, but doesn't have to, uh, uh, opt to take the risk. Okay, gets the side. He has Malikimu off stage. Can he find this edge guard? And the answer is no, he cannot. He makes it back on. He goes for the weapon toss as well. He's dashing in. Look how confidently he is playing when he has a lead. Delight, get light, get the fight light. Band light. Okay. This is what perfect movement looks like. Air comes through. He's got enough damage here with Delight Recovery. Could knock out, but Marky Moo dodges the gravity cancel Delight and now hits a lot of unarmed attacks. Gets the wow. unarmed recovery at the very end. Of here we go, game three. Uh, Hughes loses this, goes down to the elimination bracket. Delight. Oh my gosh, Malikimu, he is hunting him down, able to dodge past the new trailer. Use off stage. Ooh. That is what I mean. Use back to the stage. Malikimu cleverly uh, using all of his uh, options to recover as soon as possible after the secondary hit, knowing that like Yu's just couldn't position fast enough to get a great sword hit out again to keep him off the side of the stage. Use briefly took the lead, and Malikimu takes it right <gasps> back. Wake up, gravity cancel sidelight after the bridge, Yuse and then Yu's misses oh, the wall. No. So he was already done for. The cider there just gives the knock. And just like that, Markimu is the goat. And then Yu's uncharacteristically playing towards the sky. Goes for the recovery. Markimu hunts him down, down the gauntlet. No new chilling follow up. The GC side light out of disadvantage. He mixed him up. Oh, and now Yu's is getting the damage side in side light. No, no recovery up. afterwards. Markimu not letting the recovery's rip. The last side one to come through that with that. Oh Marky Moo beats Yu's in the grand final reset and is your wow. Autumn Royale 2024 champion. The first Royale that he ever shows up to gets to the grand finals on the winner's side. Almost goes down to use, but manages to beat the reigning world champion and the best player from South America to be able to hold his trophy and be the champion here at the Autumn Royale today. He played amazing. He played so, so well. He has defeated so many people in his path and he has made short work of them. He has only lost two sets this entire weekend. One of them was to Balloon Boy, one of them was to use, and then... Hey everyone, we hope you enjoyed this video. B. Sorry about our hiatus. We're back and we hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Peace.